Looking out of the front page, a wild-haired, gentle-eyed young German man stands before a blackboard of incomprehensible equations. Meanwhile, back in the quotidian, Carver takes the school to the poor. He outfits an open truck with shells for his jars of canned fruit and compost bins for his croaker sack of seeds. He travels roads barely discernible on the country map, teaching former field slaves how to weave ditch weeds into pretty table placemats. How to keep their sweet potatoes from rotting before winter hunger sets in. How to make preacher-pleasing mock fried chicken without slaughtering a laying hen. He notes patches of wild chicory. The farmer could collect the free themselves from taste for high-priced imported caffeine. He and his student assistants bump along shoulder to shoulder in high cab, a braided scale of laughter, piling above their raised dust. Today, Carver is explaining, as far as he understands it, that fellow Einstein's special theory of relativity has hardly gotten to Newtonian space, when a platoon of skinny dogs announces the next farm. As they pull up, a black man and his boy straighten, two rows of shin-high cotton apart. With identical gestures, they remove straw hats, wipe their foreheads with their sleeves, and their welcoming glance meets Carver's eyes at the velocity of light.